welcome to comfy cozy up so yes today was a snow and if you look outside it's all melted already so goes back to what i said in the previous video i don't mind when it's snow this time of year because i know it's gonna melt real quick um so in this video i'm gonna be finishing up the junk journal that i showed you in the previous video i hope you guys watched the previous video and then I'm also going to be reading this, which I did start already, and I am thick in it. I am on page uh, 133. So, I wanted to start off with the theme of the month, March Mystery Madness, because I'm only reading two books that is in that arena. So, this one is a suspense thriller uh, mystery, of course. And this is The Rules of Three, E.G. Scott. And this is a community, Kingsland. I think that's what they call it. Yes, Kingsland. And one particular night while the women were at the, um, their book club, um, their husband won. Um, three husbands that was involved. Two were killed and one is hanging on. Um... To his life, on his, he's in the hospital pretty much trying to survive. You have an idea that women possibly is, is the cause of it, but you don't know how. And even though I'm on 133, there's bits and pieces of clues that the author has given me, but not enough because it's like you, you, you know, there are some kind of um business, um some kind of political arrangement, something in that mix because of the one of the husband had a rocky past that he escaped from and came to this particular community. Um, then you have um, the two, the other wise day sisters. And so there's bits of things that happen um, in clues that they're definitely involved, but you don't know how. So this is loaded with a lot of suspense, but this it's also not giving me much. Um, sorry about the in and out, the uh, using natural light. Um, I don't the, the ins and out of this is just a bit like I, I'm I'm not sure what what <laughs> is going on. I am still a bit um unsure. Um, so I. I, I don't know I can't say oh I'm really loving it and I can't and I'm not hating it it's just I'm in, I'm more in the neutral sense of trying to figure out the what the who why that kind of deal um you know it's it's the whole picket fence um suburban community crime the only thing I could say so far the women are not bitchy enough for me I I books like this I need the women to be a little bit more like yeah, I need them to be more sassy, more, and they um they're not as they they're a bit too to me not as, you know, ruthless as I would want them to be based on the fact that their husbands were trash, based on how they talk about their husband. So anyway, that's why I'm happy with this, and I will be giving you the rundown when I finish. So I'm gonna start um sewing in my signatures um, because most other likes the major sewing part that I wanted to do is done um, but I still have a lot of decoration to do so but I'm just gonna put the signatures in because I think um, I want to get that part over with and then as I bulk it up with other things um, it will come together but um, when I made my John journal the, the signatures are absolutely what takes time um and i mean i'm sure other people who make junk journal can absolutely t say the same thing um it is time consuming to do this the signature um because you you, you want to be creative in a signature and then you want to um still in my case in my case, because I want it to be a reading journal, I oftentimes, if I bore the hole, I have to bore another. I oftentimes don't want to pack it up too much um, because I want people to have room to write and 
also I want it to be a situation where it is um, has creative space to do your own spread um, that's how I look at it so not just the point of view other people because I do gift this these junk journals a lot uh, most of my junk journals from last year I no longer have I gave them away but even for myself because what I made the lot the junk journal I'm currently using I love that I did not pack the pages up that I can still do um, spreads I can still you know do a lot of things on there that I can do because I, I make sure I had um, creative space and room to do that so here we go So we have the first signatures in. So what time is it? So I also have about 15 minutes before I my new video is up, which is the video I'm hoping you guys watch before this. Because I go into a little bit detail on things that I'm doing for March. All right, so now I'm going to just keep going and put in the next one. All right, guys, <laughs> finally got all the signatures in. <sighs> put this. All the cards that fell out. So, yay, wow, yeah, really, so, that's what it looks like so far. So now I have to figure out how I want to close it, because I haven't even thought about that as far as the closure, but I think it's going to be similar to the one I did. It's going to probably be a tie, but I don't know if I have any black tie. Um, so, that's the closure. But there is a lot of work still need to be done inside because none of the none of the cards are done, um, and there's more stuff I want to um, put inside because it's still kind of plain inside. Um, but I love the pocket so far, so I give you a little because I'm gonna give you a full view of it when it's done. But this is what the inside look like so far. Absolutely love it. And what I did on this, which was different from the one that I'm using now, which if you haven't seen, this is the one that I'm actually using my personal journal. Um, and I was concerned about um, the spine situation. Um, I actually use um, cloth 
for the spine this time um, for the um, outside um, which you won't be able to see but there is spine here um, but I'm going to also cover it um, with some more stuff um, that I am going to be covering it with because it's still not that strong to me um, especially like the back here where you can see so this is going to get covered um, and this is going to get covered um, but I think I'm sticking to the to the black um, theme I don't know yet I've, the, the, it's not completely done I'm still working around how creative I want to be with this but it's not done yet but the signatures are sewed in and I'm happy about that so yeah so I'm going to get something to eat and then do some reading and I'm probably going to do a little bit more stuff on this later so yeah that's what we got right now <laughs> Like I could say for sure who who's involved but how it's the how you do know the why there's the why the why is definitely clear but it's the how is where you don't you kind of don't know it's like a puzzle and it's the point of view you're getting from uh, the wives and you're getting the point of view from the detective um, which it's 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 interesting how these women are um, portrayed and how they speak and that what they share of um, things and a detective as well so the author I think wanted to really keep the suspense um, but something about it is not like that strong to me it's kind of like okay I really I re you're giving me the good stuff as far as keeping the suspense um, but I feel like it's, 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 it, I'm hoping the next 80 page tie it in on the, the why a little better as well as the how, that kind of deal. Um, but again, the suspense part, she, she, yeah, this is author. Is this a she or he? I don't know. Oh, it is a she. Um, so I guess... We're going to keep going and I will let you know, but, um, it is giving mystery and suspense. It's definitely giving that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to continue. I'll read this. So today is, uh, today, today is a beautiful day outside. Like I wish it was a little warmer because even, because tomorrow it's going to snow. Like it's like every other day again, but you know, it melts quick, but still I was hoping that this weekend would be like a weekend to do some stuff outside like I want to pot outside well not pot do some planting outside but bring them in they're not gonna stay outside cuz it's too cold but I didn't want to do all that dirt and work inside um, inside but it looked like I'm going to have to do it inside because it's just the weather is it seems like every weekend um, the weather is not being nice <laughs> I guess you know it's March March is just all over the place um, so that's, that's my dilemma on that. I still have not finished my vision board, um, which is something that I think I'm going to tackle this weekend because I have more of a clear and I can put stuff that I was hoping for to happen that already happened, that kind of deal. Um, and also little other things that I'm considering. Um, so I think I'm going to do that as well this weekend. The, um, junk journal. So the junk journal is coming along, the inserts are in. There's more decoration that's done, um, but I don't know how I want to close it exactly yet. And then the tags, um, I think I might do videos for the tags, like 
short videos of each tag and put the tag in as I do it that way. I've seen people do it that way and I think it's kind of interesting. But you know, if you've never done a junk journal, just know the easy part is the cover. The easy part is absolutely cover. Um, but the insert is where it becomes more challenging because it's a junk journal so it has to give that different look. It, it's not uniform. It's not like you're just getting some white paper and you're binding all of them and put it in. That would be simple. But it's just that it has to have some form of unique element inside. Um, and you're using scraps, you're using papers that you have, you know, you can use anything. I typically use a lot of craft paper that I have, which is something that I did this time around this year, because you guys, I noticed I did buy quite a few things in November and December of last year. So this year I did start out where I said I wasn't gonna buy any new craft thing and I've been really good at keeping it for crafting as far as my journals not fabric because that I have no choice because I didn't have any but I have a lot but then I don't have a lot of what I like because a lot of, a lot of what I liked I used up so I am literally like going through my stash and trying to use what I have uh, which makes it more difficult to do some of the creative part in my journal because in my mind I was like, oh, I could have just, I would have just went and bought that or bought that. And I'm like, no, the goal until April is to use what I got. Even my journal spread, if you ever look at my journal spread lately, I enjoy them, but at the same time, it, I, I have, it feel like I'm using the same thing over and over because again, I'm using what I got. <laughs> so I have to stick to that whole use what I have kind of mindset um, because when you are a creative person and you do junk journaling or you do anything you get a little bit out of control with buying you just constantly buying craft things just because you know you know you can use it for something but you buy so much that oftentimes you forget what you have and there are times where I will find stash of things and I forget that I even had those I'm like I even just even doing this junk journal I found some stamps some rose stamp because I wanted some black rose and I found some stamps I never even used I'm like taking it out of the container and I'm like this is an example of you don't even know what you have because you just love buying stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to ramble on a little bit. <laughs> Not going to ramble on some more. Um, and I'm going to, you know, fix something to eat. I do need to do my journal of the day. And I am going to do a little bit more in this junk journal. Um, and maybe do, maybe do a reel or a TikTok today. I want you guys to I'm going to get some work done. And definitely going to be done with this tonight. Maybe in the morning. Um, now that we get into the nitty gritty at the end. And I will check in with you guys. Yeah. Hey guys. So. This is how far I got guys. <laughs> so. It is not done. At all. It is probably about 65% done. Because outside it's not completely done, the closure is not done, and inside is still um, some other stuff I want to do. None of the tags are done, and I have about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 tags that's not done at all. So this is 60%. <laughs> so I am going to put this on hold for a little bit. I'm going to work on it little by little. And as I do updates, I will probably just do a video showing updates. That's just how I'm going to go with this. Um, I really love this. And I think it's one of my one of my more creative ones I've done so far that I absolutely love. Um, as you can see, the faces, hopefully you guys can see that. And it's just um, things I want to do to the uh, to spine, especially here and here and then things. So it's, it's going to be done. And when it's f completely done, I'll do like a complete flip through of it. And yeah. So let's talk about rules of three. E.G. Scott. So, 
absolutely definitely a suspense uh thriller mystery so this is like a great way to kick off march mystery madness so what i'm gonna give you because of mystery you know it's so hard to really review those because you really want to give you very little this book really focused on uh the why and how not so much about the who because when you read this instantly you you have an idea who did it and you 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 within a couple of pages you're you're very sure who did it um you're just not sure why and how um because they were very clever and initially i wanted the women to be um a certain way and i realized they were being a certain way the way the author wrote it was purposely done that they came off a certain way and i thought it was very clever i thought the reasoning for why everything was happening was very clever and even to the end i was like ah oh, yeah it, it it gives you a taste of how to get away with murder kind of vibes um but these are women in a suburban area where their men are um basically control them in ways that you learn throughout the story i thought it was interesting now it is multiple point of view because you get a point of view from the wives you get a point of view from the detective at some point you do get a point of view from uh, one of the husband so it is a very much um different pieces that makes the puzzle interesting and make when you do find out what how things happen and why things happen interesting I think if you are uh, uh, into this kind of genre, you will like it. But I think if you are heavily in this kind of drama, you might not like the fact that it is given away from the get-go who did what. Um, you know, who's in, who is the suspect. You do know, you know, you know that ahead of time. I like that the author did that because it, it's, it's, it, focus, it shifts the focus. Um, but you might have a like, well, I didn't want to know who the, the killer was early on. Some books, you just want to be creative. It, not all authors are going to do that because it makes the book even more um, complicated than it needs to be. And I thought this was nice and interesting and give you the small suburban housewife drama. That, that's, what, that's what this gives you. Um, and I was here for it. So I did enjoy this. Um, and so, yeah, I would definitely read something again from the author. Um, and um it's it's very much also it is driven by a book the book is actually named the rules of three and this is the book it's a book club that these women were a part of that they were supposed to read the book and use the book to motivate them so that's the gist you get from this which i thought as a book lover you know you love this it kind of there's a book i read years ago it was one of my favorite books that year um I don't remember the name of the book. Oh my God, it's been quite a few years. But the book was basically a book club gone wrong where these women um, con the people in the book club and I loved it. So I love books that have book clubs in the storyline. I do like that. So, yeah. Um, so that's it, guys. I am going to do um, start a new sewing project tonight. I'm going to actually cut it out. Don't know if I'm going to start sewing tonight. I'll probably just cut it out. Um... And I will probably do update on my Instagram. So follow me on my Instagram. I also did a highlight. I finally made a highlight for my sewing. So like if you want to see what I share on my Instagram stories. Because I only put them in my stories. Um, of sewing projects that I'm working. That I work on. I don't record a lot when I'm sewing. Because I'm so focused. That it's just. Just to be able to stop every second. And just. I don't know how people do it because uh, maybe when I get more comfortable of feeling like I am, you know, really good at it, um, I still feel like it's a lot I need, I need to learn and I'm still learning. Um, and so I focus a lot when I'm sewing so I don't really get to stop every second. I stop when I'm like fitting, when I'm, oh, let me try this on, see what it looks like. And that's the highlight that I show on Instagram story is me in between stopping and showing what um, the, the garment the garments looking at me um, as I'm sewing but just in the middle of me sewing to actually record uh, no guys <laughs> it's I'm not there yet one day when I get more comfortable I would do like 
maybe uh, um because i have sold two items in the same day so maybe i'll do like sewn an eye um outfit in one day kind of video um and maybe i'll do that one day when i feel like maybe it's a smaller project or a project i feel that's not um or maybe if i've made multiple of that pattern so now i'm comfortable because i've made it multiple times then i could do that because then i can do a, i i know what i'm doing but a lot of the patterns I'm doing, it's the first time I've done it. Um, the first time I've tried it. So I'm like so focused on making sure I get it right. So I, I, it's hard for me to record those. But it's coming, guys. I'm definitely going to share those with you. Um, just, you know, like even the junk journals. The junk journals are usually late night sessions, honestly. Um, I try to do some of it in this video to show you what I do. But a lot of my junk journals are on my days off late night session when I am up and I just decide to just do a thing. <laughs> so anyway guys, see you guys in the next one. There will be a Tuesday video. Not sure yet because I'm thinking of going through a romance because I still want to finish a romance that I wanted to read last month. Um, and it's not that long so I might end up doing that and show you what I made in my next sewing project and it's also going to snow because it's already started snowing yeah we're getting a couple of inches today oh and the clock changes tomorrow well today when you guys see the video the clock changes today so of course it's going to be nicer not getting dark early so yeah anyway let me stop chit chatting and i will see you in the next one guys bye